Hey guys, Vampire Con here, and today we're going to be doing a Ro new Roblox Studio tutorial. So, I have found a plugin on Roblox. I was looking at you know the Roblox dev forms, and this Roblox plug plugin is called Cloud Generator. So, basically, it gives you these properties, and you put them you know in random numbers, and then it will basically make particles and you could use them as clouds so you could mess around with this how you wanted to because i've just found it and i thought this should be like a, i should make a video on this so here is, is i guess the like the width and length of while this is there so you know you're gonna put in your like numbers i like, Going to just put a hundred. You could put whatever you want. Go put a hundred for both. And the ones with the, the this symbol here, I guess, all of the um, are the important ones that actually generate the cloud. So like these three, like you have to put in a, you have to put something like a number there for this to work. And you can't mess around with these although I'm not I'm not a hundred percent sure with what some of these do I'm still busy you know learning about this plugin so yeah let's just put in like the um, three numbers here under like the you know these three and then we click here to generate now on workspace you should see this folder called clouds and when you look up here it has generate the po generated the particles to give you clouds now i will link to them dev form so you could look more on this but what you can do with these is like you can make almost like mist like if you want to like make a horror game and it has something to do with mist this could be a good add-on for it as you can see, when you pull it to the ground, you could, you can duplicate it more. And yeah, so you could use these for, you know, clouds, or you could use these for some other stuff like actually making, you know, mist or fog. And you could play around with um, cloud generator properties. Um, yeah, I just found this cool add-on and I think you guys should, like, try use it. If you duplicate, I think if you duplicate them, it could maybe make them, th you know, more thicker, the fog, yeah, it looks like it. So, if you want, you could use these as, um, in certain ways, like, again, mist or clouds or, you know, possibly some other functions... They could use uh, these particles for maybe even like a smoke color coming out of a fire. I don't know, but that is the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. You can. It's a, just a very quick video. I know it didn't go into much detail, but you guys could basically work on this, like mess around with these properties here. And yeah, that's basically it. It's a very quick video and that's basically it. I'll leave a link to this in the description. I have a Roblox group. It's going to become a Roblox Myth group. Yeah, but if you want, you could subscribe, use this plugin and see you guys next time.